Before this video starts, I want to mention that this is a new video series that I've been working on called Discord Decides What I Make. This is the first episode, hope you like it, so let's get started. Our episode topic from today came from Cribot. Thank you very much, you're amazing. Okay, how it works. When you put your hand in front of the sensor and it detects a smaller amount than usual, it will tell the motor to open. So we also have another function for unloading the bin, you just need to press the center button and the cover will open and it will stay like this for about 10 seconds. Okay, next part is interesting, programming. Okay, so we talked about the functions of the bin, now it's time to learn how to program it. This is how the EV3 Studio opens. Okay, pause. If you don't know what that program is, or you never heard of it, you can go to the description box and you'll find a link to it. Just click on the link, go to download, press download and you're good to go. Now, you see that my brick isn't connected and here in the sensor tab I'll have the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, if you want to use this one, uh, the, this program, with the home setup, the home uh, kit, you need to connect it because uh, when you connect it, the new sensors will appear. So, if I connect really quick my brick to the computer you will see that some new sensors will appear you can see the infrared sensor and now let's talk about uh, the connectivity just a little bit you can see my brick is connected now my sensor the infrared sensor it's in port 4 and the motor it's in port a always keep in mind that motors always stay in letters or uh, letter ports and always sensors stay in number ports this uh, is the first thing you will see like when you open C++ or other apps, hello world, this is when the program starts. Now we're gonna start to build. The first one uh, that we want to uh, make is to set our volume to 100 because the volume will be automatically set I don't know to what value and so we want uh, uh, the volume to be set to 100. Okay, now we want our program to repeat forever, so we uh, will put the forever loop here from the event tab. Now uh, we want two ifs, uh, two, decision, uh, two decision making blocks uh, for our program to work. So we put the first if and we put the second if. Inside the first if we will put the distance, uh, not this one from the ultrasonic sensor, don't put this one because you don't have the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, you can use it, but I don't have it, so this one it's made with the infrared sensor, put the proximity, this one. If the proximity in port 4 if the, it's less than 15%, you see if I move my hand, if you look here very closely, if I move my hand along the sensor, you can see the proximity, so you can adjust it by your needs. I'll use 15%, uh, it's working pretty good for me. Now we will use the same block as this one, we're gonna use this. Uh, sorry, we will use the same block for the second one. Uh, the second one will be the um, emptying function. Okay, we pressed it. Now we want the sound. I like sounds. Now we will put here uh, detected to let us know that the bin is about to open. So just search here for detected. Should be around here. They're not in uh, alphabetical order. So uh, I can't find detected. Hmm. Okay. We will come back with detected. Okay, found it. Now uh, we want to wait uh, a couple of seconds before the bin will open. I will wait 0.5 seconds. Then we want our motor 
that a motor always if you have the motors connected they will be already installed here on the port I want the motor A to run counterclockwise for 85 don't don't leave it as rotation because it will slam all your bricks put it to degrees 85 de uh, degrees okay so we got the first part ready we open the bin now we want to wait two seconds go back to uh, controls and wait two seconds here uh, now you have time to throw uh, your garbage into the bin next one we want our bin to be very polite so we we'll say to us thank you so just search here for thank you I think it's a way you can uh, record sounds and make the brick plate but I'm not pretty sure in the old app I know for sure that was a function maybe if you program it in uh, Python it will work I don't know I don't know this one uh, after this one you go to motors and you want to close it just leave it clockwise 85 degrees not rotations be careful now we got the, our second if uh, that is coming uh, after this first one uh, with the uh, same argument uh, if the infrared is a proximity that is less than 15% it will do this one it will do the same it will open uh, actually we can put uh, we can if you want you can make a sound just to know we they'll let you uh, know that the bin is on uh, is in uh, empty mode so you can uh, power down system power down so this would be a cool sound so put 85 counterclockwise and degrees now wait 10 seconds from the control panel I think 10 seconds should be enough for you to take out uh, all the garbage if you can put more or less you can change all the time you just play with it be creative now 80 counter uh, clockwise sorry and degrees and this is the program this is the biggest program we've seen I'm joking this one is a very small program maybe uh, in the next one we'll do something more complex like a Roomba or I don't know a cleaning robot a vacuum cleaner a automatic uh, butter opener you just type it so write it in the discord and we'll see maybe your creation will be the next one uh, don't forget join the discord and yeah just roll the outro this was the video if you learned something new don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe i was andrew from keep technique hope you all have a wonderful day and see you in the next one keep building